testing the mic. Alright. Levels look good. Hopefully the the fan noise isn't too high because it's hot here right now and I gotta have that fan on because I don't have AC. All right, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay. Good. Why do I have two, uh... Put that there. Alright, everybody. I wanted to do this a lot earlier today, but... My, um... My, it's so hot here. So let me show you what I got work in here. So I'm working on a just a little stylized scene. I'm kind of doing something uh, along the lines of uh, just a little storage house. Gonna have like a little like World of Warcraft vibe almost. Real simple, chunky art style. <clears throat> so what I did so far was I just drew this little crate. Let me, uh, I painted this in, um, uh, Photoshop. It's not something I'm uh, very good at, but I just wanted a quick rough concept to go off of. This isn't going to be my like final texture or anything. I just wanted something to give me an idea. I didn't want to totally base it off of somebody else's stuff. And I just, uh, what I did is just made a cube. And
I unwrapped it uh, one face at a time and then I just unfolded it and put the texture on there. May I show you the UV map? It's super simple, nothing fancy. Oops, nope, not that. <laughs> Let me unhide everything. They're all, um, I guess I could, uh, that won't work. <laughs> but anyways, I, um, I thought I packed it on the whole thing. I guess I didn't. It probably, uh, I just totally messed it up. Oh, well, I'll leave it like that for now. This is this was just the, so I had a general idea of what I was working on. And so what I did was I took the face and I duplicated it. And then I took another crate or created another one with a little more geometry. So this is like the super ghetto one. Like n no geometry, just super simple. And this one is super ghetto too. Let me put them at give you a this one I just, I took that face from the original and then I extruded, I, uh, I'll just show you, how about that? Um, oops. So, what I did was I just took the, the knife, and I just cut where I had these uh, splits between the planks. I wasn't really worried about whether it was perfect or not. I just went through and cut it real quick and did another one here. One down here. And I just did one here like this. And I'll show, I'll point this out in a minute why I did this. And I could have just boxed modeled this. But I didn't think it was necessary. I just kind of... Basically I just cut out the planks that are in the drawing. And from there, <clears throat> I 
I just uh, hop in a face mode and I just did some uh, real simple extruding and stuff. Let's see, I have my snapping set to increments. That gives it a little bit of depth. And then uh, same thing with the border here. Here's Y, whoops, a little bit of depth. And then just to give it a little more pop, You could uh, either do this or no, let's do this instead. You could select each board. And just uh, do a little inset. Oops. Oh, damn it. I missed one. <laughs> do a little inset. And then just kind of push that out a little. Probably not that much, but well, maybe, yeah, that'll work. Then I just went along and did that to each of the respective planks. Little in, oh, too much. And these you probably wouldn't need to do it to because they're the ends. Oh. And that just gives it, you know, a little more depth and believability, I guess. So if you're in a rush and you just need to get some quick and dirty assets out, you could do this. Looks pretty decent. Oops. And one thing that is a little bit of a bummer is you gotta Got to remove these faces. That's the problem with the the ghetto technique here. Let's see, let me uh, put the cursor. Oops. Uh, let's see, individual active element. Nope. Um, okay, there we go. I don't know why I always have such a hard time with that. Then you just want to rotate it on the, uh, what is it, the X? Nope. Now I gotta set that to 3D cursor. Okay, 8x90. 
and then uh, do another copy rotate that on the X uh, 90 and one more time another duplicate and you could just um, use the mirror modifier too but it it doesn't uh, then you just have to apply it every time and then do another duplicate and this time we'll just rotate it on the y-axis and then another duplicate and rotate it on the y-180 boom and there we go super quick quick and dirty although this base is upside down so we need to rotate that X wait Uh, hit it on the X 180. Yeah, that means this other one's yeah, this side's upside down too. That one looks okay. Oh, this one's upside down. Wait, okay, why? That's all right. So that's how you get a nice and quick and dirty one. And it, it turns out okay, but it looks a little weird. There's definitely some errors. Like here, that obviously shouldn't be like that. You could probably just, uh, you know, knock these out. And then Scale it on the uh, Y axis here. Sometimes I have a hard time with this, the, the scaling in Blender. Not the scaling, but the snapping it. This doesn't like to do it the right way sometimes. All right, let's try this again in the wireframe. I have to like zoom in super close. I wanted it to be here. So grab it on the Y. It doesn't want to do it. Let's see, scale, one, two. There we go. That's what it was. It wasn't, wasn't perfectly straight. User error usually is I forgot to put the bottom there didn't I Close enough. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, uh, you know, the texture is obviously super stretched now. But, you know, from a distance, that wouldn't be, it really wouldn't be too bad. I mean, Let's throw the lights on. Yeah, it's all right. Nothing. I mean, it's just a simple crate. So all right.
right. But yeah, that's uh how I got the second attempt, if you will. And then I just thought, you know, I might as well just sculpt it because I, I, it'll look better. And it just I prefer doing the process of uh, doing the high poly, the high poly sculpt, and then baking it down to a low poly. So what I did was let me uh, go ahead and unhide everything. I took the face. Let me just delete this one. Oh, no, not that. You don't need this one anymore. I I took the face again from the low poly. And then I went ahead and split it up into separate parts like this. And I'll just put it in material mode or solid because I'm not going to use that. And I took uh, each part, like I got this one for example, I split it off and then I split off this one and I did that with each part and I beveled the edges. And that's pretty much it. It's funny, now that I think about it, I realized I didn't put any um, any bolts on it or nails. That's okay, I can just kind of, I'll sculpt that in in ZBrush. But I, after this, I sent it over to ZBrush with the, the GoZ, GoB add-on, and, and, and it worked. Um, it doesn't always work sometimes, like sometimes it, it does this weird stuff, but it worked fine today. Here it is in ZBrush. I went ahead and quickly uh, separated it. Let me just show you what I got. This is the original mesh imported from Blender. And I duplicated it. And um, split the parts into the corresponding parts. And now I'm just going to <clears throat> go through and give everything a dynamesh. Hopefully it won't take too long. I should have done this before I started streaming, but this beat is my recital. I think it's very vital to use the force for good, of course. Uh, Skywalker, that's my time. Okay, I did. I did some of it. There we go. Wait, wrong movie, innit? Pod racing up the 101. 
one surpassing Golden Gate traffic. R2 on the roof of my Prius, dude. I could FaceTime holographic. I play for the eight. And now just uh resurrect Matt Dre, do it all for the bay. Up in there and kind of beat the edges up. Hit out the trim dynamic here. <laughs> this song's hilarious. And it doesn't have to be super detailed. In fact, that it kind of shouldn't. Since I'm uh, since I'm just going for a super simple stylized look, I do want to knock down all the harsher edges just so it doesn't look so clean and perfect. It's funny I was looking at wood textures to kind of get some good reference and ideas for how you draw wood or carve wood and. Real wood that's used for building stuff doesn't look anything like most of the wood portrayed in uh, in video games, stylized wood anyway. There's like no, it, it's very plain. You know, it's a very boring, uh, actually it's regular milled wood is very boring looking i think i have a a reference thing here with my my pure ref Let's see what i got here wood. um damn I don't know what I did with them. I have a bunch somewhere. I'll open a tab. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, here we go. See, like, it's like super boring looking. I mean, you could paint this color in but there's no real depth or fun to it that's kind of the fun of the stylized stuff is you exaggerate the heck out of it i mean it has the knots from the branches that's the only distinguishing detail but there's no Uh, real depth going on and you know it's just a smooth piece of of wood but that's not what we're doing we're doing stylized wood yeah just go through kind of beat the edges up get the uh old orbs crack brush out and uh you know what <coughs> oh excuse me i am gonna turn dynamish off and go ahead with the sculptors pro oh man um let's see uh There we go. 
I'm kind of going for... Man, my throat's itchy. Kind of going for like a... I guess you could call it like... I don't want to say the Horde uh, style, but more of the Orcish, Trollish style you would see in WoW. You know, they kind of just quickly plot and nail everything together. Oh, man. Yeah, so it's not like the cleanest milled wood. They're just like chopping their wood up all quick. Not like something that the elves or the humans would do. I guess the blood elves would if they were doing something. Really good. Oh, this is a serious beat here, huh? <laughs> Go through and I quickly pull the shapes out that I need. And that should be good. One thing I like to try to do sometimes is, uh, should have did it first. I found uh, this brush from the AJ author, AJ Noise, uh, AJ Wood, I think it is. This one. But uh, I turned Sculptors Pro off. And, uh, oh, no, that's not the one. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Sorry. AJ Wood 1. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. I kind of just use it to uh, give some surface information other than just the cracks. That way there's a little, little bit to it, you know? That should be enough for what we're looking for, what I'm looking out of it. And the reason I only have the three parts is uh, I can just use a mirror modifier back in Blender. So what I'll do first is, this is what I normally would have done. I always forget to do this, you know. And if you press Alt, you kind of go the opposite way. 
you would think it'd like just show up. Uh, the the repetitiveness of it. But if you go in afterwards with the the orbs crack brush, oops, let me hit the edges with the trim dynamic first. Back down. I just updated ZBrush and it was, uh, <clears throat> I was worried that my settings were going to go away because in the past when I've updated ZBrush, it got rid of my settings, even though I saved it, you know, and, or sometimes you couldn't reuse everything, um, like your user interface, it wouldn't, uh, sync up well with the new the new update but the update was fine it went smooth and um i can't uh, say i notice anything right off the bat i'm sure there's minor improvements it said basic improvements to uh the performance so but ZBrush is such a beast already, so... Oh, I'll hit it with the Orbs Crack brush. Mask that first. I don't... that down a little then what I, I try to do is I try to kind of fake the features that the, the AJ brush dropped on there I just uh, kind of exaggerate them basically you don't want to do it too much you still want it I still want it to look a little bit stylized and cartoony and all you got to do is put one of these guys in there to do that Oops. You want a guaranteed stylized look? There you go. That's. He's got to put a number six in there. <laughs> Just kidding. A little swirl. That means this wood exists in a world with magic. I'm just kind of chip away a few more side details here <clears throat> guess I'll throw some in here And after the fact, after I get all of these, I'll come through with the move brush. Do I have that set too? Here we go. And I'll just kind of, actually, let me use this one. 
kind of mess it up a little so it's not so perfect. I'll kind of use the grooves or the ridges or whatever as an indicator. Since they're going like that, I'm just going to put a dent in there. Put a dent in there. Pull this down a little here. Oop. Same thing there, just so it's not so perfect, you know. It's, uh, like I said, it's kind of something that the um, like the orcs put together, and you know them. They're not not necessarily worried about the look of it so much. Function over form or over fashion for them. But I'll do that to all of them after I get the uh, stripes in there and everything. So, oh, just uh, back to that AJ Wood. And actually, off. I find that it's not the best to use this brush with the uh, Sculptress Pro mode on. There we go. Make that a little bigger. Gonna knock those perfect edges down. And sometimes people ask me why I don't just use uh, Blender, and I just I'm just more used to ZBrush, and I I really prefer the way it, it feels. Um, but I have tr done sculpting in in Blender, and it's definitely like this is something you could definitely do in Blender, what easily. I don't want you anyone to think that it's uh not not capable because it's super capable all right good old orb cracks the sculptor's pro mode back on and then same thing i'm just gonna kinda exaggerate these crevices from the aj wood brush Gotta put the swirl. Actually, yeah. Let me put it somewhere else. Let's let's put it right here. Kind of on the, the edge. Smooth it right here a little bit. Give it a little smooth geometry to work with. There we 
go. Didn't hit that, that edge very well, did I? It'll be fine. And then one more, AJ Wood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you kind of. I wasn't in. There we go. Like you're controlling the bark a little bit. Good. And we'll, uh, oops. And Sculptress Pro Bone back on. Get the good old trim dynamic out. I guess I don't really need it for the edges, but what the hell. Or maybe, maybe I don't want it. It's weird how it does that, like it, the quads from the, uh, the Dynamesh definitely give you a cleaner, oops, I'm there. Weird. Yeah, the quads give you a, a better, uh, better sculpt for sure. You can definitely get some crazy detail going and then refine it with later Sculptors Pro. Yeah, so I just, same thing, just beat it up, weather it. Make it so it's not so perfect. Because these orcs aren't, aren't milling their wood with the same precision that the humans and elves are. I mean, the elves are like growing their stuff. They grow their, their lumber. <laughs> That's probably good enough. Now we're going to Sculptus Pro. Oops, cracks. Let me uh, mask this guy. Mask. Invert. Be where I'm at so I can get my bearing. One thing the update did is it turned my floor green. God, I hate that. I I had it. I figured out how to make it gray. And now it's green again. 
you know, green that is. I don't, I don't like it. I mean, I get it. It represents the y-axis. I just uh, the gray, the gray is easier on my eyes. All right, it's kind of the same scenario. Go through here. Let's let me position this in a way that I can. Probably add a little bit of secondary details to it. Oh, this looks like a perfect spot for the wonderful swirl. Magical swirl. A fun little magical swirl there. Why not? One more there, huh? A little grooves here. I'm just going to kind of add some real extra I don't want it to get too busy Probably a little overkill, actually. Nope, I don't want to do that. There we go. That looks. It looks a little more rough, kind of. Not rough, but like the the saw that they ran it through, the kind of tears as opposed to cuts. Do a quick. Uh... That looks all right, huh? <clears throat> now I'll go through the move topology brush and just kind of fudge everything around a little.
like this one. I'm gonna thumbs up this one. Yeah, so in here I'm just, you know, kind of pushing in where it makes sense a little bit and pulling out a little. Nothing major, just to give it a little more exaggeration. A little more character. Sometimes it's good to kind of stretch the tops a little splintered a little bit, even though it doesn't look like it's splintering up. And then same thing, you can just kind of pull out, push in on, on the, the very front of it. No work. Kind of make it a theme with the swirls to push it in. The branch was. Just so the surface is a little more spooky looking. That should be good. That's the top. <clears throat> and I, I kind of, I do want it to have this uh, like gap, so to speak, because not going to be a perfect perfect wood Do that one more quick uh, little render yeah I think that'll work all right I'm gonna call it a night uh, I will try to get on here to earlier tomorrow, but it, if it's hot again, I just I probably won't because it's so uncomfortable and I have to have my damn fans on high since I don't have air conditioning. Um, I'm in the Pacific Northwest right now and it's hot and humid here in the summer. Uh, but with that said, I will be back probably... I'll try to get on around 8 o'clock uh, Pacific Mountain Time, I think is what it is. But uh, let me see. Let me save this first. God, I should have saved that earlier. Uh, no. Uh, Let's call it Crate Crate Sculpt. And uh yeah. Yeah, Crate Sculpt. Um 
yeah i'll be back tomorrow around eight and we'll continue i'll probably chip away at the most of the the wood it's the same process and i doubt you guys want to watch me do the same thing over and over but i'll try to get that done and then i'll move on to making some nails uh, I'll probably just do that in ZBrush or maybe I'll make them in Blender. I haven't messed around with ZModeler in a long time, so that might be fun. Uh, but we'll go from, we'll get the nails done, rest of the wood and planks. And then from there, it's uh, a quick retapo. And then a UV unwrap and UV pack. My least favorite thing hate packing UVs. Uh, after that, we'll hop in a substance painter, get it textured, and then we'll drop it back into cycles and give it a couple little screenshots and move on to the next prop. Um, I'm going to do a couple more simple props. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to do a couple simple, I don't want to say treasure chests, but just chests uh, and a couple barrels. And probably other miscellaneous things like tables and chairs and stools. But uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, anybody who stopped by, thanks for dropping by. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, post them in the comments below. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a good night.